I want to find out from our friends in MPP. What happens with the job freeze? They lampoon, lambasted NDC for going to the IMF and for which reason there were some conditions that we could not engage people in the public sector. The NDC engaged a lot of people in the public sector. And contrary to the lies that Ghanaians were told by the MPP and its incompetent communicators that we never recruited people to the health and education sector, when the website under the same government, you still go and it's still there, indicated that between, two, in fact, in 2014 to 2016, we engaged over 42,000 health workers. And it's still on their website. Yes, still, they went to town with, with this. So, welcome to the club. There's a proverb in Dagban, that if a stranger comes to your village, at your foot and decided to break your, 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 your bowls, mm. he can only do so uh, after he's been encouraged by a native to do that. You, we are all in this business, and they knew that having gone to the IMF, you are bound to come with some conditionalities because the IMF is not a Father Christmas. Now, when we did that, they went to town and said that we're being insensitive, that why, why, how on earth could we accept such conditionalities to freeze, you know, recruitment into public and, and, and the, uh, 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 public, public service and the civil service. Now, why did we do that? Today, he's telling us that we all know that when you go to IMF, it will come now with some... that is true. I'm, so that is why I said, Sandil Sankamala, Tengbin Chokoma, they didn't need to break the ball. But they did so because they felt expedient to do that politically. Today, he's telling us that oh, we all know. Who knows? You only know. We didn't know. 